Folks are feeling and experiencing a range of emotions right now. I get it. <laughs> But we must accept the results of this election. 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 For many people, it sucks that Kamala Harris lost. Some people are going crazy. Some people are losing their minds, and people just can't believe what is happening in America to them. I understand your concern, and I'm a Trump supporter, but of course, I know that you're mad. <laughs> It's not my fault. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> no, but seriously, things just didn't go your way. I'm a 49ers fan. I'm used to heartbreaks. Trust me, and I get it. It sucks. You really wanted Kamala Harris to win. Just like I wanted the Niners to beat the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, but the one thing I respect about the Chiefs is they just played a better game than us, and they beat us, and it was fair and square. So I'm able to live with that. With that. With that. With that. But some of you can't. Some of you guys are being really immature about the election, and you know, hey, Kamala lost, and at first she was being very immature, but at least she showed some maturity. Folks are feeling. And experiencing a range of emotions right now, I get it. <laughs> But we must accept the results of this election. Earlier today, I spoke with President-elect Trump and congratulated him on his victory. I also told him that we will help him and his team with their transition, and that we will engage in a peaceful transfer of power. She lost. The American people did not want her. She lost the popular vote, which was a little bit different in 2016. I don't think that Donald Trump won the popular vote. Now he did lose in 2020, but he won in 2024. Everything should be okay, right?、Mm. But that wasn't the situation. Angel Reese is heartbroken. Now, before I get into Angel Reese, you know, I'm, you know, I really appreciate the things she's done in college basketball. Her career as a young African American sister, I used to really be a huge fan of what she does. But Angel Reese reposted a video on her TikTok that was really demeaning black men. I've never seen an unhappy black woman with a fine ass white man. I've never seen it, and 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 we could talk about it more because the ones that be happy as hell with their white man, they be getting everything that they want, and that's gonna be me next. Happily in love, living a life. They man spoiling them. They just open it. Where the white man at? I'm I'm at the point where I'm sick. Like I, I am, I am, I am. Y'all give nothing no more. So I'm dating out of my comfort zone now, and I'm gonna get me a Caucasian man. So where y'all at? Now, ever since then, you know, I I really love our sister and everything like that. She's young, but I'm kind of looking at her a little sideways, right? Because a lot of black men support Angel Reese. I was one of them going at it with the Caitlyn Clark fans. I'm like, yo, man, we should be supporting our sister. Then she turns around and reposts this, and I don't think that she ever did that video on her TikTok that she shared for someone else. But then Angel Reese, like many other celebrities, were basically trying to get everybody to get out and vote. Okay, so let's see her tweets. November 5th, please vote. <laughs> she says again, November 5th. Get up and vote. Okay. Then woke up speechless. <laughs> so let me just let me let me let me just say this, right? She said, "Please vote." She didn't really say vote for who. Get up and vote. She didn't say vote for who. But we already know that Americans voted. It was like record-breaking early voting. It was big turnouts. So people did get up to vote. But to her. Demise. She woke up speechless because her candidate didn't win. Now, if you guys can remember these states, let's talk about them right now: Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Arizona, Nevada, Georgia, North Carolina. Want to know how many states that Kamala Harris won?、Mm. Zero. She lost all of them. Okay. Now, before we kind of get into that, let's look at her particular statement. She says this. Sad music. I'm so disappointed in America. Some of you just couldn't selfishly put your pride aside, huh? <laughs> Now, see, the thing is, this guys, when she says "some of you,", you. we already know who is you. <laughs> We know who she's talking about. She's not talking about the American public because the American public, she would not even consider would vote for Kamala anyway. We're not talking about that. 
she's looking at black men because Angel Reese already feels some kind of way about black men. And so we've heard other black men who are Democrats have this same sort of ideology. You guys are selfish. You won't put your pride aside. And what is the pride that she's talking about? Well, you guys don't want to see a black woman become president. And so you guys are misogynistic. That is what Angel Reese is telling everyone, but you know, people just didn't catch it. But black men caught that. We understood who that messaging was for, but it's all good because once we get into this and into the comments, we're gonna find out that Angel Reese got her wake up call really quick. Now, Tour Golf says, be disappointed in the fact that you'll never be Caitlin Clark. Can I get a ooh sound effect? Oh! Save Steel, pride, LOL. Someday she'll understand, or maybe not. Then we have Nikki the God. You really need to sit this one out. Zay Flowers Dreadlock goes, what are you talking about? <laughs> Got he. <laughs> Maga Barbie goes, this is how elections work, Angel. Stop the show. That is probably the best comment that I've seen with no insults or anything like that. Because again, this is how elections work. You get out there to vote, you pick who you want, based on the policies that the person is saying. And we're not even gonna get into the specifics of how Kamala Harris, you know, dodged certain questions, you know, all of that. We're, we're gonna get into that a little bit later, but not right now, okay? Let's continue on to our positions here. Mr. Gavin goes, it wasn't pride. It was the high gas prices, high food prices, high mortgage rates, car loan rates, house prices, and so much more. I want to speak to this because even though I'm living overseas, um, you know, my family still lives in America. Uh, some of my editors, SPK is back in America and he, he shows me the prices all the time. How much things cost It's ridiculous in comparison to the last time I was there. This is crazy. It's insane. Inflation is insane. Buying a car. Good luck. All right. It's tough times for Americans. And people like, you know, people like Angel Reese are already doing very well. And this is what I don't get about some of the Democratic elites, and I would consider her to be one of them. You guys already have a whole lot of money and your life is already set up. You have podcasts, you have endorsement deals. You know, you're spending $8,000 a month in Chicago. So you don't have to worry about where your money is coming from, but that is not the case for normal Americans, okay? So for people like you, D.O. Hughley, and of course I'm gonna deal with them, in a minute, they don't have to worry about that. But what about the rest of the people? Look at Atlanta Holic. <laughs> Look on the bright side. Your 70K annual salary is about to go a lot farther. Can I get a ooh sound effect? <laughs> Hotep Jesus, he says, I got kids. They need to eat, and these groceries don't buy them. Selves. Hummingbirder says, turns out it's more important to Americans to have a good economy and secure borders than to delete babies. We already know um, the, the kind of abort, abort dash in issue. All right. I don't want to talk about that real quick. Uh, John Mooney, Angel, the people you talk about voted. They just did not vote for your candidate. This is America. The most important factor is that people voted their conviction. Your candidate just did not get the votes. I mean, it's amazing that people have to go back and like even explain this to her, but okay. Uh, Maj Ture, shout out to that brother. He's a strong brother. Imagine thinking that people use their individual vote to select the person that they chose in a constitutional republic is somehow prideful. <laughs> this lack of basic civic understanding is why we teach a civics class and never listen to athletes or entertainers for political advice. <laughs> Here's the class link for those who want to actually learn. Learn, learn, learn. Christopher says, America won last night. Got an issue? Western and Northern Europe are similar to us, but they are more in line with what the left wants. Unchecked illegal immigration, censorship, etc. Go there! Just posting ills. You lost. This is Caitlyn's country now. <laughs> Stop the show. I think Caitlyn paid for University of Iowa, which Kamala Harris was supposed to win, but... <laughs> She lost by a lot. Yeah, they were saying that she was going to win by three points. And well, <laughs> Tommy Lauren. Hmm, nope. Cry more. Zachary says, everybody who disagrees with me is stupid, wrong, selfish. Most voters are moderate, good people on both sides. Um, Tracy Crowley. Pride? People can't afford anything. They see millions here illegally taking their tax dollars. You're starting a battle you don't want, Angel. Shaming the majority of this country is not the way. Which, again, she's now rich so it doesn't bother her anymore 
Myron Gaines, he says, Angel Music, shut up. Bimbo, bigotry in massage noir is back. You WNBA 304s are going to get back to being ridiculed. I'm going to do a whole video on this because this guy is stupid, but okay. He got a lot of likes on it. The reality is, is that, again, the entitlement and the buffoonery of a lot of Democrats, no matter the race, it's ridiculous. Um, we've seen Democrats ruin Chicago, New York City, California. I mean, why do you think there's so many people who were Democrats that turn Republican? Democratic cities and states just don't work. So if it worked, then you wouldn't have people leaving California, going to Texas and going to Florida. But that's what we're doing. And many people are doing that because they just can't afford to do anything right anymore. And Democrats need to recheck their positions and be all about that. And Angel Reese, you'll be okay, boo. You'll still be rich. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shreddy Jackson, back at it again. Another episode of the Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.